Hi my friends of the whole world, um, welcome to the Gladen Mosconi uh, Digital Lab. Today we have launched the uh, new DSP software version uh, 2.56 with a disk function. And together with uh, the launch of the software we will start a video tutorial uh, series. In uh, this series we will explain every function of the Mosconi DSP from uh, starting download the software up to a complete uh, sound setup. Okay, let us start. Where we uh, can download the software, it's uh, quite easy. You go to uh, the website mosconi.org. There you find the tab download. If you press the tab download, you get the button Mosconi Gladen DSP software download. Press the button and you are on the download page. For the actual DSPs uh, like Pico 812, Pico 68, DSP 812 Aerospace, 68 Aerospace, uh, 812 Pro, um, you need the GUI 2.56 with the disk function, dynamic input signal conditioner and you have the choice for 32-bit uh, um, old system or if you have an, an actual 64-bit uh, system you download the 64-bit version. Press the button, the download starts. OK, the GUI is on your PC. That's it. That's my, my virus scanner. The GUI is safe. Okay, noticed. You don't have to install the GUI uh, at once um, with one click uh, from the download. I start the GUI. I have connected a uh, Pico 812 uh, DSP with a factory default firmware. I show you start the GUI, you can work offline. Work offline means you can uh, work in a, in a safe preset file on your, your hard disk. Um, or you can connect the device. For sure, we want to update the device, we have to connect. So we connect. First we choose Pico A12 DSP. Okay, we have it. Connect device. So GUI is on, Pico 812 was found, the label is green and uh, the label shows me uh, the firmware version 3.68 and the flow version 1.01. I become a uh, message, found a new firmware, do you want to update your device? Yes, I want. Okay. Now I see the firmware in the device is 3.68. The latest version in this UI is 4.01. It's the disk version. For this, the label is yellow. The same with the process flow. The firmware is uh, split in two parts. The firmware is the, um, controls the, the main DSP functions. And the process flow is the firmware for the for the for the signal, for the audio signal. Okay, I've read it. Always update firmware first. I upload the firmware 4.01. Press OK and the upload starts. We have the progress bar and see the upload. Okay, done, ready, upload ready. Your device is up to date. Okay. <coughs> the DSP starts again. Now I see in this green label in the corner firmware 4.01. It's okay. But the flow is uh, also the, the 1.01 for this. The message I found the process flow update. Do you want to update to your device? Yes, for sure. Okay. Now I see the firmware is green, 
is up to date, the process flow need to be an update. I upload the process flow, press OK, and the upload starts. It's doing a few seconds longer because the file is, is bigger. Okay, that's it, upload ready, okay. Then my DSP do a reboot, starts again, is ready. Now I have in the green sign firmware 4.01, process flow 2.01, everything is up to date. The starting message pops up, there I can choose uh, write to DSP, it means all data uh, in the in the software in the GUI will transfer to my DSP with the option default setup um, the DSP will restore to factory default I also can load and set up and save setup on my hard disk in this case this button changed right to DSP with the loaded setup and I can start the setup wizard, um, but it's um, part of a later uh, video tutorial. Okay, the next option I have uh, read from DSP. It means all four presets are transferred from the DSP device in the GUI to work on it. Or I have the option work on the fly. In this case, only the active preset is loaded in the GUI. In our case, here I see it, preset 1 is active. If I press the button work on the fly, only preset 1 will be loaded. It's a very fast solution to start with my work. Okay, preset 1 is loaded. And now I can start with work in the equalizers, filters and so on. That's all comes later. <coughs> you can update in this way um, the, the Pico DSP line, means uh, Pico, Pico 812 and Pico 68 uh, DSP OAM, and all, all upcoming uh, new DSPs. If you have an older DSP, like the uh, 812 Aerospace or 628 Aerospace or uh, 8.12 Pro. You need an update by your distributor only for one time. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's uh, such a big up, uh, update is not uh, possible in another way, not possible only by the GUI. You have to contact your dealer or distributor to do the update. I told uh, only one times. Um, after this, further updates you can uh, do by this UI in the same way I've showed you. Okay, that's for tomorrow. Uh, sorry, that's for today. Tomorrow we go on with the first settings, with the um, input stage, with the input uh, signal conditioner. Um, yeah, that's what we do tomorrow as preview. Thank you for looking, stay tuned on this channel and learn all about our Moscone DSP platform with all functions. Thank you.